Hey guys, it's Mark Lane. We are out at 908 Lacona. Um, what we're going to do in this house, we're actually going to take you guys through the very first walkthrough. And you know, we, we really haven't hardly started anything other than got the guys out there doing a little bit of yard work and some really light cleanup that's been done. But this is a pretty full, well, this is a full rehab. Okay, this is um, everything on the inside is getting done. We even have several foundation walls to do, um, mechanicals to do, you name it, some exterior work to do. Pretty full rehab. So we're gonna take you guys from start to finish through this rehab and we'll just label them as you know the same address, part one, part two, part three, part four, stuff like that all the way through. So we're gonna do this um, throughout this entire project, start to finish, so you guys can see what happens. So let's take a walk through real quick. And by the way, this isn't my project. Just wanna put that out there. This is my friend Adams. Um, so we're gonna, but this is his first rehab. So we're gonna kind of be doing a, a uh, recording of the entire project, start to finish. So obviously we're in the living room here. Um, all this paneling's coming out. There is some drywall behind it. Some of that might be salvageable, might not be. But all the paneling's coming down. Uh, the windows are actually in good shape. So windows will all be staying. Uh, so that's one good thing. It you know, kind of helps because we don't have to like wait on windows. We don't have to order those. Um, but all, obviously all this stuff comes out. Uh, we have the hardwood floors. Those are stained pretty bad. Probably not gonna be able to keep them because of the urine stains on those. We'll probably actually have to seal them with like a sealer and then we'll do carpet over top. In the bathroom, uh, that's getting fully gutted all the way down to the studs. You know, have new, new tub, new shower, um, new plumbing, you know, tile, all that stuff. All be brand new, you know, including ceiling, everything. All be brand new in there. Okay, and then we have bedroom one, pretty small bedroom. And this would probably be considered the master. Um, this, for a fact that we've got a patio door in the bedroom, this will be coming out and we'll just be putting in just a regular window. So that'll be a pretty dramatic change for this. Aside from that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll retexture, um, of course do everything else in here. We'll have new doors, new trim throughout new fixtures, new lighting, um, everything. So this rehab will be a fun one to watch because everything will be changed. Everything will be new. Okay, and then almost similar size bedroom. And this is only about a little bit over 600 square feet. So it's a pretty small house. Uh, so you know, one thing is we'll be able to get through it fairly quick because of that. Um, but sometimes you know, like the small houses aren't, you're not able to make as dramatic of a change because you got limited um, space to work with. But same thing in here, you know, we've got drywall, drywall patches, doors, trim, lights, vents, outlets, carpet, etc. So the whole house, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see that we do the entire project the same all the way through where, you know, we, we, we do one part of the project at a time. So it's going to be all the demo. Then we're going to come in and we're going to hit all of the you know, the electrical, the plumbing, the HVAC, make sure all that's up to par and, and working. And then we're gonna go into drywall phase and uh, drywall throughout the whole house. And then we're gonna go in painting phase. So one thing that we do is we run a very efficient rehab so you're not gonna see a bunch of bouncing around. So if you guys follow the process that we do, you're gonna find out that you rehab very, very efficiently. Uh, kitchen, can be completely redone. All the countertop, all that, or the countertop cabinets appliances everything coming out and we'll have a brand new kitchen in here and we have you know we're already down to subfloor so we'll be throwing on some new cement board and tile in here as well and going into the entryway Let me do that lighting down there so basement's pretty bad it's a pretty bad basement you know and some some of you guys watching you don't have basements in your area, uh, but we do here, you know, in the Midwest. So in this case, we actually have, well, we thought two foundation walls. And I think we're actually gonna have three foundation walls now that we're gonna have to replace. So these are when people see us go through these um, changing out foundation walls, that's pretty dramatic type of rehab for a lot of people. The thing is, if you find the right contractor with good pricing, they know how to do it all. They pull the permits, they pass it with the city, so it's nothing that we really have to know of. We just have to make sure that the numbers match um, or the, the numbers make sense as part of the project. So if they do, it doesn't matter if it's mold, it doesn't matter if it's a fire damage, it doesn't matter if it's foundation, flood, 
it's everything's fixable if the numbers make sense. Uh, we're also going to have to replace water heater, um, new AC unit, all that stuff. So in um, here in the basement, you'll see there's you know pretty significant crack across the middle. Normally, you'll see that the foundation splits in a couple different places. Uh, a lot of times, it's either at ground level, which is usually the second block down, and it'll split there, or it'll be towards the middle, and it'll split there. And this is caused from pressure from the ground. And once it gets enough pressure on it, it buckles, and then you know you end up having to fix it. So there are foundation companies that'll come in, and they can either put in like the steel beams, they could put plates on, um, that kind of thing. But the thing is, when we have a, <laughs> I know what I'm stepping on, when we have a reduced cost contractor, they can actually do all that stuff for the same price or even less than what one of the other contractors will do to, to, to put on like the beams and the plates and everything else. The thing is, if we have all the, you know, the steel beams on or the plates on, buyers come in and they automatically see that as, well, there's a problem with the foundation, okay? Even if it's fixed, they still see that as a problem. Whereas if we replace the walls and we can get that done at the same price or better, then we eliminate the problem and we have a brand new wall in place. So the problem doesn't exist anymore and buyers don't have to worry about it. So we like to go that route. So it, it, we want to take away any kind of obstacle or reason that the buyer would not have interest. Um, see in here we have several, you know, several cracks that have already been sealed or tuck pointed at one point. Um, really big crack back here. And then even worse, you can see over here where you have some really major cracking. You know, over there you got about a over an inch gap. So pretty significant. So that that that's buckled, that cannot be tuck pointed, that cannot be fixed. Um, you simply have to replace the wall. So in the basement, everything's coming out, all the drywall, it's got mold in it, all that stuff, it's all coming out. And by the time we're all done, we're gonna have three new walls. Um, walls are gonna be painted nice and white. The floor is gonna be painted gray. It's gonna smell good in here and it's gonna be look like brand new. So what's, what's cool is um, sometimes these houses are so gross like this one and what they look like when they're finally done is it's a pretty, cameraman's getting cobwebs in his hair. So let's take you outside real quick. So then there's Obviously this stuff has already been pulled out. There's, like I said, there's been some, a little bit of clean out that's been done. This stuff was pulled out of the basement already. Um, on the exterior we have, you know, the, you know, white siding. Most of the siding is gonna be kept. There are gonna be a couple of repairs. As you can see there, we've got siding repair. Um, we're gonna have siding here where after we pull out the patio door. Um, so some of those types of things. And, but for the most part, not a whole lot of exterior work. Be keeping the roof, be keeping most of the windows, be keeping most of the siding. Got a few little gutter repairs to do. So um, the guys on the inside are going to be starting in about a week and a half uh, while they're finishing another job. Um, in that meantime, there were we should have the foundation done. Um, all the yard gets cleaned up, which that's going to help a lot just in accessibility and you know the be able to view the house a little bit better. So let's show them the front real quick. You can see down here the massive foundation damage. So. So we have this issue with the front stoop that's that's leaning, that's falling, that's kind of falling down. And this is all in great condition. This big chunk of concrete is in good condition all the way down, rail's in good condition. So we're hoping, like for a fact that we're probably gonna have to replace this wall now, which this is the one we didn't think we we're gonna have to replace. Um, we're, we're, we're hoping the foundation contractor can rebuild the block and everything along with it so that we don't have to mess with this and if we can they'll actually mud jack this up and level it all out so that's um that's about it aside from that we had grass in here it was about three feet high so they couldn't even mow it they actually had to get their weed eaters out and do it that way so again or actually i said 908 this is 208 lacona so this is the very first walkthrough again we're gonna be doing walkthroughs each week showing the progress showing what's happening and uh taking you guys through it so Hope you guys enjoy it and get some value from that. And if you would, please uh, be sure to subscribe and share this with somebody you know is interested. All right, thanks a lot.